Okay, here's inside the cabinet. These are the changes that we made. Um, basically took out all the old flash tube stuff and uh, the vacuum tubes and uh, replaced it with a modern 12-volt uh, transformer here. And uh, then here's the module that uh, Mr. Opera made. Uh, he's the fellow on YouTube. You see him with the distributor testers. He made me this module. And uh, it's got dwell flash feature in it also, which is pretty cool. And it's all low heat, low voltage. Uh, everything runs off of that. Uh, you can see the one wire from the module here goes to uh, the sensor here for the uh, what used to be the flash tube. And now it's actually uh, an LED that this goes to it. So that replaced that. We do have the original uh, 120 volt motor that runs the, the, the machine and the, the drive belt. And here's the, the cone pulley that uh, changes the RPM as you rotate the, the, the handle. I did leave the, the old cabinet here uh, up here for um, the vacuum pump because it's, it's it's still a six volt vacuum pump but it's uh, it still works so I left it there and I still use it with a six volt battery charger. Uh, these two leads here uh, that are hanging here are basically that's what they're for. They're to plug into the 12 volt uh, or the, I'm sorry the six volt battery charger. And that's most of the stuff down here. Then the wires kind of lead up here and they go to this cabinet that I fabricated up here and although it looks very complicated uh, it's not really that complicated and uh, I'll uh, show later on a schematic of some of how this all fits together but uh, basically what you have here is now uh, there's a there's a tachometer right here that it's a digital readout tachometer it's very accurate and then here's the dwell uh, meter that's all hooked up into here uh, there's a 12 volt uh, power light here and down hidden in here and you can see it is uh, if I could get to it is uh, this little tiny uh, lamp here that uh, shows off whenever you uh, have uh, power going to the sensor for the tachometer um, what else we got here so that's pretty much it for up here uh, this potentiometer uh, does uh, help you slowly it's a 10 revolution potentiometer and it gives you uh, the ability to change your uh, dwell settings for the dwell and uh, that's pretty much it on the back here. Uh, we'll just walk around to the front real quickly. And uh, down in here, uh, underneath this uh, red cover, is uh, that's where that sensor is. It's a magnetic sensor, and it's uh, set up right in here. I wired it in, and then the wires go internally in, on the back there. So what happens is you turn this, uh, and actually have it 180 degrees from the arrow, so there's a, there's a small magnet, and you can't see it here, but there's a small magnet in there that is hits the sensor and it gives you uh, a count every revolution when this thing's running around here. Actually, uh, when it runs around here. So here's the front of, um, just a close-up of the front of some of the components here. And uh, we'll put the covers back on and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, you can still see the old Sun machine uh, uh, information sheets it's actually a, like a double sheet in there and it tells you for the uh, what distributor and what uh, the, the specifications are for distributors these are actually from 1957 here's Oldsmobile 57 58 so that shows you how old this thing is but it's it's still pretty cool I, I did leave the like I said left that's the old 6 volt uh, distributor RPM gauge in there although it does not work I also left the dwell gauge which does not work anymore it's all disconnected but we still do use the vacuum pump and some of the components here I did remove the the, the two batteries the AA uh, or D size batteries that uh, would power that stuff because there's no longer needed in there and then you have the the negative lead here which is uh, goes to the negative lead of the on the distributor and then the, the, the positive lead here uh, if I can find it, let's see where we at. Why am I missing that? Oh, there we are. Okay, so there's the positive lead, and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm going to turn this off, and uh, I'll come back, and we'll give you a demonstration of how this thing works.